This is a TLC Barrel Racing Clinic in Bluntston, Florida, May 15, 2015. I'm going to let these videos go through normal and then do a slow play review. This is Callie and Trig, and you were very consistent. In the morning, you ran a 17.140. In the afternoon, you ran a 17.166. What I like better, the uh, video on the left is afternoon. The video on the right is the morning. What I like better about the video on the left in the afternoon is you didn't shoulder in as much on your left turns. He was more honest after your tune-up, and that made me really happy to see that you didn't have to work as hard in the afternoon as you did in the morning. So I think you just have some very small changes to make to make big improvements so I'm gonna let it go through slow motion now and I'm gonna go ahead and critique a couple things that you could change in competition and then give you a couple exercises and drills to do during the week with your horse so I'm gonna go ahead right now and put it in slow motion and zoom in and I'm gonna try to get them both coming in at the same time let's see here that one's a little bit further behind so I'll see if I can move you up here. Um, it looks like here you're both riding two hands a little bit longer in the uh, afternoon than you did in the morning. As you can see, you're looking at your spot, your two hands um, a little bit longer. This, this hand's already on the horn here. You're still riding two hands. But what I like is you're sitting upright and you're just looking and riding to your spots, which looks really good there. One, two three strides from the barrel you're asking for your rate so same situation here um, with your horse the the turns look very similar um, in the uh, afternoon you're sitting a little bit more upright and using uh, give and take pressure in the uh, morning on the right you're using a little bit more uh, rain pressure. So I like that you're using your body more to turn your horse and a little bit lighter give and take with your hands. So we're going to let that get going again and watch your second barrel. And you see he really um, drops in on you a little bit too much, a lot more in the um, a lot more in the afternoon, I'm sorry, in the morning on the right, okay, if you look at this. But I also want you to notice something, Callie. You're already looking at second barrel. So you're setting him up to fail right from halfway across the arena. So if you could change your face not looking over here, but looking out here, that would make a big difference. You did it on both um, your morning and your afternoon. And then you're depending on your outside rain. If you'll notice, um, your outside hand is pulling on him a little bit too much. So what I'd rather see you do is put some weight in that outside stirrup, ride his outside ear, ride straighter longer, and don't be already bumping on him and pulling on him and looking in. So you're able to keep him off of it, but as you can see, it's really, um, it was a lot of work for you. You were really having to pull on that outside rein on both the morning and the afternoon, but a little bit less in the afternoon than in the morning. So that was good news. And your third barrel was much better in the afternoon than the morning. Um, second was really tough, though. He's a big guy. You need to think about getting him over right away. Did you see um, here, I'm going to show you in the morning, you pulled on him. See how you grabbed on that outside rein, and he's already dropping his shoulder and his face going out that. Anytime you pull his face to the outside, you're going to cause that shoulder to drop in. Now, on this one, you didn't do it. You kept your hands even. You still look in a little bit too much to the inside. I'd like you to look over at your pocket, but um, but see how he's already dropping his shoulder? At least you kept your hands even, and you didn't pull on the outside rein. So that's why that turn was better. And then you were able to just go to your horn because he was more in position, and then you're able to hustle out. He's really a beautiful horse. He has a big stride. You really cover some ground. But your problem from first to second is he gets over gets across the pin so fast that he really needs you to be there for him and ride um, straighter longer. So with that said, what I want you to think about is um, when you're going to your barrels, you know, you need to think about um, looking and riding about five feet to the side of the barrel and five feet past the barrel. And then you want to ride literally with two hands uh, two legs and your eyes to these spots. That way um, he completely knows what you're wanting from him. If you start looking at the barrel 
or sitting down or leaning in, you're going to hit, and that's what we don't want. So even if you rode one-handed, I'd still want you to look out here straight or longer, five feet past the barrel, five feet over, and because everything will still be saying go straight. You can still sit for raid, but you can't look in and pull on reins or lift reins because all that's going to do is cue them to turn. So you want to separate your go rate and um, turn cues. So a good drill for you to do would be to just trot in straight lines and then sit down for rate when you get here. Okay, so this is a fast trot. Then sit for rate and jog about maybe two strides, so maybe like 10, 15 feet. And then do a left circle. And then keep going and get on this side and, and extend trot again, maybe 30 feet. And then sit right here. Then sit jog for about 10, 15 feet. And then do another circle. And you can continue to do this. Um, and then go the other way and do the same thing. But use the three cues. Use a go cue and then a, a rate cue in this section where you're, so this is extended and this is collected here and then you have a turn cue and you can do it left or right. So have the same cues that you'd use in competition. Now for you on the actual barrel pattern, I would like you to um, do that straighter longer drill where you took his hip um, you take his hip all the way. Oops, I need to use a different line than that. Uh, okay, so let me draw your barrels here. A little crooked pattern, but it's okay. So you'll go up here and stop when your hip gets to the barrel, and then walk around it. Go up here, stop when his hip gets to the barrel, walk around it, and then go up here, stop when his hip gets to the barrel, and walk around it. And you can do this at a walk, trot, and a canter. Keep your hands even. Do not pull on the outside rein. Keep your hands centered and use your feet, your body, and your eyes to keep him straighter longer. So those are drills that you can do with him. You had really good timing. You had light hands. You sat nicely. You used your seat and legs with good sequence with your um, hands. So I feel like you're ready to, to, to really add a little bit of speed and see how it keeps it. But I would, again, do some tune-up exercises. Ride with heart all the time. Maybe you could set up a few barrels or inline barrels would be maybe a good idea for you too. And you can just go travel straight lines and circles and then come back and go the other way, straight lines and circles. And just really work on him staying square. Another good drill for a horse that wants to, needs to separate their rate and their turn cue is put a barrel right here and then have um, rate, turn, go and drive them around. Rate, turn, drive. And the same thing, rate, turn, drive. And you can do it both ways. Roll back and then rate, turn, drive, rate, turn, drive. And that's the D pattern in my notebook. Both of those would be a really good exercise for you. And um, thank you for coming to the clinic. I really enjoyed having you. And I think you and Trig have a really great future ahead of you.